So I was going through MMA Twitter, okay? And I came across a tweet by Son O'Malley. O'Malley is talking about how he wants to have a boxing match against Ryan Garcia. And for whatever reason, this just ignited the passion in me to make a kind of a ranty style video, minimal editing, because I, I just I just want to burn through this material. O'Malley, can we not? Can we just not do this? Because I don't think I need to explain to you. Actually, no, I will, because that's why this video is being made. Understand that MMA fighters doing boxing matches does not work out. It doesn't, okay? Conor McGregor failed against Floyd. I think, this is what I think he's looking at it as. I think O'Malley's looking at it from, well, I can make a bag in boxing. Here's the thing. If it was that simple and you just made a bag in boxing and then you can come back to MMA and pick up where you left off, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But that's never worked out that way. Like, understand this. Tony Ferguson's entire career was ruined... Because Conor McGregor went wanted to go to boxing. Like, understand that that was the contributing factor that made Lightweight into kind of a terrible division at the time. Even though they had an undisputed Conor McGregor, but nobody was fighting because, yeah, there was a boxing match going on. No fighter who has ever asked for a boxing match while they were under the UFC tenure, it has ever gone well for. Except for Francis. But understand that that was a miracle, and he still lost the boxing match, and then got absolutely flatlined by Anthony Joshua, because the universe had to autocorrect. Like, I, why are we doing this? Okay, like, I know the backstory. O'Malley wins the title against Alzheimer's Sterling. Within the next week, I shit you not, he is talking about how he wants to fight Gervonta Davis in a boxing match, and how he thinks he would tune him up. Calling him little, all of that stuff, all of that, yeah. And then Ryan Garcia chimes in and kind of punk, pokes fun at O'Malley for even asking for a fight with Gervonta. And O'Malley little bros Ryan Garcia basically saying, hey, you already lost to the dude, this doesn't concern you. And then fast forward a year, Son O'Malley gets a title defense. Okay, we've already done better than Conor McGregor. So maybe we're going in a better place, right? Maybe we aren't going to take the boxing approach. You're already a millionaire. I don't I don't understand. I don't I just don't get it. So now Ryan Garcia is going to be fighting Devin Haney. Then he goes full on Alex Jones, okay? Like dude, I remember making videos about the whole Ryan Garcia fiasco and just I was I laughed at it, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, anybody who believed in Ryan Garcia and most of the stuff that he was talking about, look, here's the thing. I don't deny that there is conspiracy. I don't deny that terrible stuff happens at the height of society, but you really think they're telling Ryan, you're going to tell the dude that's coming off a loss in his boxing career that what people don't remember was more of a social media phenomenon before he became a boxer. Like you're going to tell that guy all the secrets. Like, you're gonna tell him about the aliens, okay? That, 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 was, that was the bullshit right there, okay? That, that, my, my BS alarms were going off. And then people thought that he was one of the, one of the new prophets? Doc, just because he rode a white horse? Dude, this is a guy who divorced his wife two hours after she gave birth to his child. All I'm saying is this isn't the guy we should be taking advice from for just about anything other than boxing and being a deadbeat dad. Other than that, we shouldn't be taking advice from the guy. That, that, maybe, that, maybe I'm crazy for thinking that. In this entire time that he's going crazy and everybody's thinking that he's about to get whacked by the Illuminati, he, now he's talking about how he would beat Son O'Malley in an MMA fight, okay? Yeah, nah, that guy's crazy. Why are we taking him seriously? And then he beats Devin Haney. Misses weight by three pounds. Talks about how he'll never be able to make that weight before in his life. Which, understand, that means O'Malley's going to have to go up in weight to fight Ryan Garcia in boxing. That's if that's if that's how we're going to play this. Which is a whole different issue. So, so Ryan Garcia beats Devin Haney and then says, Well, uh, I was just acting crazy. I, 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 didn't, no, I didn't mean any of this. Which... Is a whole new can of worms that I could make a video about. 
Because you said some shit that's pretty personal that I'm sorry. I almost hope is true because I think it's more damaging if you just made up everything than, than it actually happened. Like, dar, what, what type of person comes up with that type of stuff? Check the fucking hard drive, boys. So, Ryan Garcia now is talking about wanting to box on O'Malley. Because O'Malley's a clown, O'Malley is fruity, like, all that stuff, okay? And then O'Malley's taking him up on this. Son O'Malley versus Ryan Garcia in a boxing match. O'Malley wants to go over to boxing to, ha to fight him. Ryan Garcia wants to go over to MMA to fight him, but he wants a big money paycheck. And here's the craziest part about it. This is how you know we're in a bad spot. When O'Malley sounds like the more sensible human being. The reason Son O'Malley knows that he's going to have to go to boxing to get a payday is because he knows for a fact that boxing is not going to let him go over to MMA. He knows that Dana White is not going to allow this event to take place. I would be socked if they allow O'Malley to do any type of boxing event. Like, here's the thing. I invite Ryan Garcia to come over here in MMA because I think he gets submitted within the first round, okay? Like, like, people that are talking about Ryan Garcia being competitive in an MMA fight, I'm sorry. Yeah, he has good hands. Doesn't know how to throw a kick. Doesn't know how to take a kick. Doesn't know how to stop a takedown. Doesn't know how to do a takedown. Zero jujitsu. There's levels to this shit. The reason that boxing, I would, like, you can make the argument that boxing is more difficult only because when you're in a boxing match, it is your boxing compared to somebody else's boxing. We're using the same rule set to beat the other person. And it comes down that it's who is the better master of boxing. That's the person who's going to win it. When you're in MMA, you can be a better striker than me, better kickboxer, better talker, better at managing distance. But if I got a mean-ass double leg and a Dagestani beard, I'm going to submit your ass. Okay? So, when people like Mighty Mouse talk about how MMA is easier than boxing, that's what he means. Being a master of MMA is more difficult than any other combat sport because we've never actually had a master of of all combat sports. We have had masters in boxing. We have. Okay? That's what he means by that because it's a mastery thing versus a puzzle thing. There's a stylistic matchup to beat every MMA fighter who's ever fought, not so much for boxing because you're using the same you're using the same combat sport. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and rant about that, dude. Ryan Garcia, I, dude, he, I'm sorry. He's either crazy or should pursue an acting career. O'Malley, for whatever reason, wants to be a boxer. Listen, uh, at this point, I am planning on putting money on Marab because this has never worked out. If I find out a month before the event that O'Malley is in early negotiations to fight Ryan Garcia, dog, I'm betting the house on Marab to get it done. Because it's never worked out before. I don't think it's going to work out again. That fight is already super close. If there's a scenario where O'Malley's losing focus, I might pick Marab to win that. That's all I'm really saying. And I'm telling you this right now. If Marab beats O'Malley, the, the biggest problem is not going to be you're not going to get a boxing match. The biggest problem is now you are a contender again. And I... It's going to be pretty difficult for them to give you an immediate rematch. It just is. Like, it's going to be Dana White privilege if you get an immediate rematch. Maybe that'll happen. So if I had to give advice, O'Malley, no more talking about boxing. Let Ryan Garcia achieve this career resurrection in his boxing career. You go beat Marab, and at that point, if you want to do something, do something then. But if you lose to Marab, understand that this is going to be a career hurdle that's going to be very difficult to overcome. No more boxing matches. No more boxing matches for active champions because when an cha active champion becomes an active boxer, they are no longer an active champion. That's the problem I have with it. Let's stop pausing MMA because some boxer wants to have an easy win. I, I think that's the most beta shit ever. That when a some random boxer wants... Want wants to get you over to their sport, you're at their beck and call, and you're going to go join them up in their sport. No, the fact is no boxer will ever come in the MMA. Because two reasons. One, they're going to get their ass beat, and it's going to be for a quarter of the paycheck. That's the reason. Becking them over here. If Ryan wants to come over here to get his ass beat, let him do it. 
let's not go over there yet. But hey, that's going to be the video. Somebody requested a rant, and I saw this on MMA Twitter, and I said, you know what? Let's, let's do it. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And one more thing I'm going to add. Um, tomorrow's Saturday. It's going to be the UFC Fight Night, Nicolau versus Perez at the Apex. <clears throat> Um, I am going to be doing a fight companion on this channel and the TikTok. So if people on TikTok want to join over to the YouTube channel, that's how we're going to do it. Thank you, everybody that uh, watched these videos. It means the most to me. And I will see you all next time. Adios.